Yeah guys, it's me again, your boy Clinton, back again with another video. This time it's the big preview between Watford and Newcastle. Now, you're probably thinking, big preview, Watford and Newcastle, but trust me, judging by the last game and the performance there, we need the points as much as they do. Now, we decided to give you a double helping of content. Now, you haven't seen it already, we've already done a preview, me, Marv, Pete and Fumby. We've done a preview, but this time we've done another one, minus the, the other guys, but this time with the opposition fan preview. So just to kind of balance it out, get their point of view. And this time, Jacob Coleshaw from WD18 fans have stepped up to the plate. And obviously they're going to be backing their boys and giving it the big one. But you know what? I reckon we can still do a job on them. So let's show them some respect. They've come on here, giving up their time. Let's listen out for what they've got. Because I'm still slightly worried. I'm not going to lie. Like they have got danger in Decore, Dini, Ismail Saar. Delafe, you can do bits. So I'm, I'm curious to see what he's got to say. So have a listen out. Let me know what you think. I'm going to leave their description if you're not following them already in the comment section below, or in the description below, should I say. And uh, yeah, here we go. Hi, guys. My name is Jacob Coleshaw. I'm a Watford fan, and I'm also founder of WD18, the Watford fan channel. You can find us on Twitter and Instagram at WD18fans and also on YouTube at WD18. Thank you very much to the guys for inviting me on in Clinton especially um, a big pleasure always doing the opposition previews and these guys do some fantastic content so if you haven't subscribed already make sure you do give it a thumbs up as well right Watford Newcastle on Saturday a big big game for Watford of course we're on the back of a 2-1 win against Norwich City uh, and I think we need to be targeting at least a point against you guys I think four points will, will keep Watford up in the division it's between Bournemouth Villa and Watford I think for those last two spaces um, West Ham I think have just got enough but if you didn't know already of course we're in the middle of a relegation battle and from a Watford perspective it's such a big period for the football club not only the game on Saturday last uh, on Tuesday as well but also the West Ham game those three games as Watford fans we were targeting and going you know we need to get seven points so I think Norwich we had to win we did I think I'd take a point against Newcastle and we need to beat West Ham or if it was vice versa but we need seven points I think so four more, four more points and I think we'll stay up in the division uh, it's almost certain then in terms of the way Watford are going to be setting up, it'll be a 4-2-3-1. I'd imagine Dini will play regardless of his form. Uh, a lot of Watford fans have been asking for him to be dropped, but that isn't, doesn't look likely. Uh, Nigel Pearce has come out today saying he's very important to the team, so that's not going to happen. But two players you probably need to look out for and our two biggest threats, uh, Danny Welbeck on the left and Ishmila Saar on the right. Now, those guys are really starting to hit form at the moment. Um, Ishmila Saar's when he gets into the dangerous areas, he's our biggest threat. He's our best attacker. Uh, Delafay is out with a crucial knee injury. So um, we, we've we missed him badly. But Danny Welbeck's come in, as, as we saw in the Norwich game, he's got an absolute worldie. So he has the ability and all Watford supporters really want him to succeed because it's been a tough period for Danny Welbeck. And Tuesday was his first goal in 600 days. So he will be someone who will be wanting to prove and, and give um, prove himself and hopefully he can produce back-to-back -back performances and back-to-back -back goals. That would be fantastic. Uh, in, in terms of other players who have really caught the eye, um, in terms of the back, Craig Dawson's a threat from set pieces, so I'd definitely look out for him. Uh, and Will Hughes in the middle, he's probably been our player of the season. He breaks up play fantastically well, and you wouldn't think that with Will Hughes because he's normally dubbed as a a number 10 or he's more dubbed as more a creative player, but he loves the 50-50 tackles, and you'll see him getting really stuck in on Saturday. In terms of how I see Newcastle at the moment, I know you guys are on the back of that final defeat to City, um, but I thought you were playing pretty well before that, and I think overall Steve Bruce has done a fantastic job, regardless of I guess of the your guys' opinions on him before he came in. Um, I don't know the Newcastle perspective now on him, but I'd imagine it's fairly positive because of what he's done. Um, but I wouldn't read into the Manchester City result too much because a lot of teams have been turned over by them. Um, Watford have, and um, sorry, Burnley have, and then they beat Watford, and Watford have they got beat eight 0 at the Etihad, so it's nothing unusual and nothing strange. Um, but yeah, I think the players I'm looking out for is Alan Sam, Sam Maximan. Um, real talent. I think you're seeing now he started off with maybe his end product was a little bit wayward, but he's starting to real, really hit form and he's a player I would have loved at Watford. I know we were linked with him. Uh, it was between us and Newcastle actually to get him, um, but he's proven to be a fantastic signing. Uh, who else do I like in the Newcastle lineup? I like the look of Almiron. Um, Joel Linton, I mean... I'm not a massive fan of him, but I guess he did score against Sheffield United, ended that long-awaited long, long -awaited drought. So 
Um, he's someone I guess he will have to look out for. But um, but yeah, I think Newcastle got a pretty well balanced squad, and I think you're a few couple of signings away from really challenging for that that top eight. I think. Um, but yeah, I would love to be in your position at the moment in terms of not having to look over your shoulder. I mean, from Watford perspective, I'm nervous every week going into it. In terms of my score prediction, I'm going to go for a 2-2. I think high scoring draw is probably what's going to happen. Um, but yeah, thank you. I hope that's all right. Thank you very much for watching the preview. If you haven't subscribed to these guys already, make sure you do subscribe to WD18, uh, WD18 on YouTube. Uh, good luck on Saturday. And uh, yeah, hope to see you all guys very soon. Cheers, guys.